on guys? My name is Shazen A and today I am finally, finally getting around to filming this video. I know you guys have been so patient with me. Thank you so, so much. Um, but I wanted to wait until my tattoo was fully healed and it's been healed for quite a while now. I just, it's been in the back of my mind and I just kept forgetting. I'm so sorry. But today I am going to be filming my first tattoo experience. Um, I'm going to start in the beginning um, from when I decided to get a tattoo to when I was actually getting the tattoo and then the aftermath and the aftercare and how I felt about it and all that good stuff and a quite a while ago I asked you guys to ask me any questions about my tattoo on the vlog that I got it so I'm I have that video pulled up which I'm also going to answer questions off of so I'm going to answer those questions and I'm going to answer questions that I think you might have so I really hope you enjoyed this video so let's jump right in we will start in the very beginning when I decided to get a tattoo. Now, I have been wanting a tattoo for quite a while. I actually went through why every time, why every time I film a video, my neighbors feel the need to mow their lawn. How many times a week do they need to mow their lawn? Oh my god. Every time. Every time. I'm ready to go out there and be like, can you not for like 15 minutes? He's right outside that window. What the hell was that? I get a sleeping baby so I don't have time to wait for this. So I moved downstairs where it might not be as loud. You can definitely still hear it in the background. I do apologize if it bothers you. I usually have background music though that usually like, distorts any type of background noise. So. We'll just jump right in anyway. So, um, how I decided to get a tattoo. Um, I had been wanting a tattoo for a really, really long time. Um, a lot of concerns when I have so many windows open. Hang on. Okay, let's try that again. Um, yeah, I've been wanting to get one for a really, really long time. I was just really, really afraid of the commitment. And I'm like, what if I hate it after a year? You know, a lot of concerns went through my mind. And pain being the biggest one. Um, but when it comes to pain and something that I really want to do, like an example is a piercing. Um, I was in high school and I really, really, really wanted my belly button pierced, but I was so scared of the pain. Um, I have like zero pain tolerance. I was petrified of needles and then one day I woke up and I'm like I'm getting it done and I had to get it that day because if I, I knew if I waited until the next day that there was no way that I was going to go through with it so th the same thing kind of happened with the tattoo I woke up one day and I'm like I really 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 want one and that day I went and got one so in that moment, I wasn't concerned about if I would like it or, um, you know, how I would look when I'm older or anything like that. I was just like, I want one, I'm getting one. So that was the whole preparation to getting one. I actually, well, a little bit on that subject, um, picking your first tattoo, um, I mean, that is probably the hardest part about getting a tattoo because there's so much to choose from and so many questions run through your mind about what kind of tattoo you want to get, um, the size of it, does it have to have a meaning, and no, it doesn't have to have a meaning. Um, a lot of people are concerned with it, but I feel like once you get it done, it's kind of like, wow, I really like that. Um, my advice to anybody getting a tattoo for the first time is to choose something that you really, really love and don't be concerned with what other people are going to think or um, like you have to come up with this elaborate, deep meaning for your tattoo. Just get what you really like. Get something that, you know, you don't think you'd ever regret and not for nothing. People make mistakes. Down the road, you might regret it. Sorry, that's not, <laughs> that is not good advice for a tattoo. <laughs> But seriously, it took me a really, really, really long time to decide on what to get for a tattoo, and that's what I got. The other thing you ha thing you have to think of think about, my goodness, before you go to the tattoo parlor is where you're going to get it. Now, I am not a fan of back tattoos on me, on other people. If that's your thing, that's really cool. I really prefer them from the torso up. I don't even really care for... A uh, foot tattoos are pretty, but I don't care for leg tattoos or thigh tattoos, again, on me. You 
have at it. So I knew, you know, that eliminated 50% of my options to get a tattoo. I knew I wanted it from the torso up, but I didn't know if I wanted it on the arm or um, on the wrist or on my belly. I didn't know. At the time, I didn't even know what I was going to get. So that's something you really, really have to think about as well. Now, mine is a finger tattoo, which can be super off-putting to some people. Now, I knew that um, when I got it. That's why I kind of chose it on the inside and not on the top, where it's not so visible when I'm laying this. And I also chose my right hand because I wanted it on my ring finger, but I didn't want anything to take away the attention from my wedding band. So that's also something you want to think about. Um, whether you're married or not, if you're thinking about a finger tattoo, to do you want it on your wedding band finger or do you want it on your right hand where you don't have to worry about that so that was a big thing that I had to think about when I decided on getting a finger tattoo is what finger what hand why there's a lot that goes with it <laughs> Okay, so moving on to actually getting the tattoo, I desperately wish I now filmed it, but I was so scared. I didn't know if they allowed filming. Like, I felt weird asking. I was already really nervous about getting it done, so I just didn't when I was in there, but I was super nervous, and thank God I got the guy I did because he made me laugh. He, like, cracked jokes and stuff, which made it a lot easier, um, but I was really, really nervous. When I get that nervous, my legs start shaking uncontrollably, so I'm sitting, like, in the chair, and he um he's drawing it up it was just it was so simple it was an anchor it took him like five minutes um but my leg was shaking and he's like are you okay and i'm like yeah i'll be fine i explained to him i'm like i want to go through with this i really do it's just when i get nervous my leg shakes so i had to explain that it was super embarrassing but pretty funny at the same time um but okay, so walking in through the door, I walk into the door at the parlor, um, we actually cut it pretty close. I felt really bad. We like went an hour before, me and my uh, brother's girlfriend went in an hour before they closed, which don't do that. Um, but they took us. They were really, really sweet about it. They didn't give us any crap for it. I apologized. I'm like, I'm so sorry, but I've been running around all day. This was the first chance I got and I really desperately wanted to get it done today. So he said, no problem. So... We go in, they check ID, they give you the safety precautions, they have you sign a contract, you know what I mean, so I can't turn around and sue him for whatever reason. Um, and then you explain what you want, how like roughly the size of it, where you want it, um, and they'll draw it up for you. Once they have it drawn up, they'll price it out. Mine was $50. A lot of um, tattoo parlors, um, to answer one of the questions, how much does it cost, a lot of tattoo par parlors have a minimum, which my tattoo parlor was a minimum minimum of $50 um, so it was small but it was $50 um, so keep that in mind um, whatever tattoo parlor you're going to see if they have a minimum um, if you're getting a bigger tattoo of course expect a little bit more uh, but yeah so that's how much it cost me so I paid um, I gave him my ID and I paid before we went into the actual room um, now for a finger tattoo they normally well, at least my guy sat me down and had my hand up on like this little armrest type of thing um, but because I was so nervous he actually laid they have a gurney I'm assuming for like back tattoos or tattoos that are gonna be there for a long time um, you can lie down on a gurney so the guy was really sweet he's like you're really nervous he's like why don't you lie down get more comfortable you know, maybe the nerves will wear off. So if you're really that nervous, I'm sure you can ask to lie down. I really don't think that anyone would say no to you. So it's okay to ask questions <laughs> before you get your tattoo. Now, the biggest question that I have gotten was, does it hurt? Now, the guy... Oh, yeah, okay, I'll answer it now. Um, so basically, don't, like, freak out if you, you go to a tattoo parlor and you first see this because I saw it and I almost had a heart attack. The needle is super long, like super, super long, but it's only that long because it goes like into the gun and like hooks at the end. So that much needle is not going to your skin. Like it's minuscule. The needle that actually is puncturing your skin is so teeny tiny. And so he's, you know, getting the ink. All he needed was black. He's setting up the needle. It's, it's sanitary. He's sanitizing everything, making sure everything is clean. Um, so then that little thing, 
like on the piece of paper that he draws up your design, um, they actually put it on your skin and they like soak it. Um, so it'll stick to your skin. It's kind of like a temporary tattoo you can kind of think of it as. Um, so he did that a couple times and he wanted to make sure that it was perfect and centered um, so that they might do it a couple times to make sure it's in the correct area and they make sure that you like it and all that fun stuff before they start. Now comes the actual tattooing, um, how long it took. Mine should have taken probably 10 minutes, but he was, like I said, he was really, really good to me, so he was going slow. Um, not really necessarily, like, slow, but he would do, like, a couple little things at a time, step back, go back in and do it. Uh, some people might not like it. You can always tell them, like, okay, you can go a little faster. I just want to get this over with. Me, honestly, we were having a good conversation. You know, I didn't mind that he was taking his time. I was surprised that he was taking his time, considering how late we had gone in. So, um, that's, you know, a small tattoo should take you maybe 10 minutes. Mine probably took about 40 minutes. Um, we were going really slow. <laughs> Okay, so after the tattoo, actually, I'm sorry, I skipped a really important part. Um, so does it hurt? I never really fully elaborated on that. A lot of people explained the pain to me as someone scratching a sunburn. And I'm going to use the same analogy, but I'm going to tweak it a little bit. Someone scratching a sunburn with, like, a needle. <laughs> It sounds really bad, but that's exactly how it felt to me. Now, some parts didn't hurt at all, and then other parts really hurt. And it wasn't like, oh my god, that hurts so bad, but it was like, <sighs> okay. <laughs> that was the pain. It was just like a minute of like, <sighs> okay, and then you're done. Like, it, it more so, honestly, at the closer he got to the knuckle, it hurt. So if you're going on a really bony area, like your collarbones or something, or your ribs, expect it to hurt a little bit more than an area that might not be, you know, as bony. I'm a super bony person, so maybe right here or something, it might not hurt as bad. But definitely some parts will hurt much more than other parts were. Some parts I didn't feel at all, and some parts put me a little bit through pain. And remember, I have zero pain tolerance. I mean none, and I was able to do it, so I promise <laughs> you, you can get through it. I swear to you, you can do it. Okay, so then after the uh, tattoo was done, I think they rubbed something on it. I wasn't really sure what it was, um, but they put like a bandage on it, and they said, they gave me a list of how to take care of it, like a check, not a checklist, but just like a take care of it list. Um, but they put a bandage on it and you're only supposed to keep the bandage on for a couple hours. They say after the first hour you can take it off. So that's what I did um, about an hour after the appointment I took it off. And now they said to take care of it. Um, I really wish I had the piece of paper in front of me. So I'm going to go off on this on memory. So I might not be 100% accurate, but I'm going to tell you exactly what I did, which is not exactly how to take care of it. I'll, I'll admit it. Um, but they tell you to go get, um, they, they said a diff couple different kinds of cream, um, but one of the recommendations was a, like a diaper rash cream called A&D. You can find it at pretty much any drugstore go in the baby section and you can find it it's just like a tube and it'll say a and d like diaper rash cream or something um and they recommend like keeping your tattoo moisturized at all times so you'll you know lather it on it won't dry quick it'll dry it'll dry after you know a couple hours and then you want to reapply it you just want to keep it moist you don't want to let your um tattoo dry out um oh my gosh i really wish i remember what they said about showering I re this is not like a how to how to take care of your tattoo video because I honestly don't remember a lot of it. You can just look up like how to take care of your tattoo and you'll find a million things. So if that's what you came on here for, I'm really, really sorry, but I'm just talking about my experience. Um, but unfortunately, I let my tattoo dry out. I stopped putting the cream on it after about a week, which I don't recommend. Um, my tattoo is fine. Um, you know, it, it scabbed a little bit. It got super, super rough feeling. Like, it, it 
kind of like scabby feeling, but it didn't turn like brown like a normal scab what or like a normal scab would. I know that sounds really gross, but it just kind of felt like really crusty and just really gross feeling. Um, my tattoo probably healed in like. I feel like it took quite a while to heal, probably because I wasn't putting the A&D cream on it. I think after a full month, it was 100% healed. Um, it's funny, though. When you first get your tattoo, you can't stop staring at it. But now, I forget I have it half the time because it's it, like kind of pointing away from my body. So I don't see it. Ex unless I'm on camera, then I see it all the time. But I honestly forget it was there. Um, there was no pain afterwards. I think it was a little bit sore, um, but not painful. Definitely sore. Uh, I think that was pretty much all, like, everything I had to tell you about the experience. So let me jump into some of the um, questions that you guys have asked me or that I've gotten from just having a tattoo in general. Uh, okay, so the first question is, am I getting any more tattoos? I just bit my tongue and I feel like I was just bit on the ankle. Um, any more tattoos? Uh, Maybe I I really wanted sleeves for the longest time and I know this sounds really crazy because I'm like, yeah, look at my tattoo. I'm so awesome. And I'm like, that was that I was the biggest baby for that. So can you just imagine like sleeves? I went through this really crazy phase in high school where I wanted to be a scene kid so bad and have all these sleeves. Not curly cute. <laughs> and have sleeves and all that stuff. I think so, I still think sleeves are pretty cool, but I don't think it's for me. Um, I admire them from afar, but I don't think I'll ever get them. I don't know. At the moment, I'm pretty content. Um, I don't know. Maybe down the road. I, I definitely won't say no, I'm not going to get any more. Because um, I feel like I will at some point. But at the moment, I don't have any planned or I don't see any in my near future. Uh, one of the biggest concerns is when I first introduced my tattoo, obviously it's on my inside, the inside of my finger. A lot of people were raising um, concerns saying that those tend to fade faster and uh, because your fingers are rubbing and stuff. One of the perks about choosing the location that I did is my pinky and that finger won't touch. I'm trying to make them touch right now. They just won't touch. They don't like each other at all. So luckily, I won't have like any rubbing against that finger. Um, I'm going to give you a close-up of my tattoo, and you can see that it is faded. I do have to get it touched up, and that's one of the biggest things that people say about finger tattoos is that you do have to get them touched up because they're in water all the time. They're rubbing against stuff all the time. This happened... Uh, pretty soon after I had gotten it done and I honestly think it's because he was being so careful with me that the ink didn't penetrate as much um, so I do have to get it touched up and I'm not like oh my god I have to get it touched up like that totally sucks I'm totally okay with it like I'll go whenever I just haven't gone yet <laughs> and get it touched up and it'll be done in 10 minutes um, so I truly think it's because just not enough pressure was applied um but i'm not concerned about my pinky rubbing against it and making it fade anymore this question was it worth it um now this question was just asked as i said it was it worth it so i'm just gonna kind of take that and answer it the way i think it should be answered um cost well we'll go with cost wise uh 50 bucks yeah i mean any piercing that you really get is usually over $50, if not $50. So it wasn't outrageous. It wasn't like 200 bucks for one little tattoo. It was total, like I really expected it to be about $50. So um, I think it was worth it. Even though mine faded, I still thought it was worth it. It's so cheap for a tattoo. Um, worth it pain-wise? Uh, definitely. I mean, I don't, even really remember the pain. Um, I do remember what I was thinking that it felt like at the time and that's why I gave you the analogy of the sunburn and the needle because that's exactly what I was thinking when I was getting it done but right now I could not remember exactly how it felt so it's not excruciating by any means. I was able to hold a conversation with the guy um, so yeah I mean I guess for pain and cost definitely worth it. Uh, what does it mean? Mine means absolutely nothing. I just really love anchors. Um, I was going back and forth between an owl and an anchor, and I ended up going with the anchor. I do want an owl tattoo eventually because 
I love me some owls. I really, really, really love owls. And they remind me of my daughter, Ella. Like, her whole thing was, like, owls. I don't know why I, I saw an owl and I thought of my kid. I don't know why. <laughs> Sounds really weird, but a lot like a lot of decor in her room that you guys have seen before is owls. I've just been obsessing over owls for the past like two years. It easily became one of my favorite animals and symbols. But an anchor to me, honestly, it doesn't have any true meaning, but it does remind me a lot of stability and being happy with who I am and not necessarily like where I am, but like what I've accomplished and just being like stable with it. Now I'm just making stuff up. Oh, one of the most annoying questions. How will you feel when you're old and decrepit and have an anchor on your finger? Honestly, pretty badass. I honestly don't think I'm gonna really care when I'm 80 that I have a sagging anchor on my dad, on my finger. I really, that was never a concern to me. Of course, if I was to get sleeves, you know, that would be a little bit more like, all right, let's think about this a little bit more, but Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe when I'm 80, I'll be like, Oh, you fucking stupid kid. You got me an anchor on my finger. Like, but right now, I'm really not concerned about it. Does it make you tough now that you have a tattoo? And this is such a random question, but I mean, I've gotten like comments that are like, Oh, like tough girl. Now you have a tattoo. I still cry at puppies and rainbows and I like glittery things and anything pink makes me so happy. So that should answer your question right there. <laughs> and the last question that I have for you guys is, is it addicting? Um, it's not like I'm having withdrawals from not getting a tattoo, but it's definitely one of those things where you're like, I kind of want another one. And that's why I was saying that um, I'm not saying that I'm never going to get one because I truly do think I am. But it's really cool to look at for the first couple of days because you can't stop staring at it. And then you'll like pose in the mirror and you're like... Ooh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and like it's really stupid, but like you'll look, you'll always pass yourself in the mirror and be like, okay. <laughs> but uh, that's gonna be all the questions I have from you guys. I went back and I tried to find all of them. If I forgot your question, please don't worry. You can leave it down in the description below. In the description, the description's mine. You can leave it in the comments below. And I can always make a part two of this, so if there's anything that I didn't touch on that you're still curious about, then please leave it down there. But thank you guys so much for watching. Remember that there is also a list down in the description of all the videos that I have ready to go for my Fridays. So if there's one that you want to see, let me know also in the comments below and I'll make sure that that becomes a priority to put up for you guys maybe next week or the week before. If there has already been a requested video for next week, but I promise I will make it a priority and get it up as soon as I can. So take a quick look down there and see what what videos I have to offer for you guys. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a big I was so close to finishing my video and I ran out of space. So <laughs> please leave a thumbs up. I already said that. Subscribe if you don't want to miss any new videos. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter, both at Shazenay. And until my next video, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.